Oh hey guys, so today we're going to be doing another training video. Train with me, grab your horses. Today I'm training my new horse, Skipper. He's my adorable curly horse. If you have something against curly horses... The mom's a Please ignore the screen breaking in the background. I'm right here because we just finished our little last minute meet and greet before my 2000 subscriber shopping spree. So thanks to those who joined, let's get started. So Skip is currently a level four. That means we can have some satisfying results at the end of the video. Lately, I feel like in my training videos, I've been training like level 14 horses. And so the beginning of the video, they're like level 14. And then at the end, they're still not level 15. And it's just not, it's just not satisfying. And today I'm going to be answering some of your questions. This is a Q&A question and answer. Eva Many Steps said, what are you working towards in life? You know, I, I don't appreciate this question. Um, I'm not working towards anything, so what? Yeah, I feel like I'm just working towards... I don't know. <laughs> I'll tell you a couple of small things that I'm working on improving in life. Or I want to get better at video editing. I want to get better at editing, not just like Star Stable edits on my iPad, but actual like drawing on Procreate. I'm working on that. I feel like this is stupid, but... A lot of people relate to this. I'm working on managing my stress better so that I can just enjoy my life. So that's what I'm working towards. Thanks for asking that question. It really made me think. Even many stuff is not done with me. They ask your hobbies. I'm the type of person, I have a lot of hobbies. I get really into my hobbies because I'm a loner and I have no friends. So that's what I do. I really am enjoying going for walks. I used to be a runner. I used to run. I wouldn't call myself a runner, okay? I would run, but I wasn't very good. But it's really like bad for your knees and stuff. And I just, I don't know. I would get injured and stuff. So I was like eh, walking, being outside. That's like one of my hobbies is being outside. Another one of my hobbies is been watching TV shows. I'm currently not watching a show right now though. I really like reading, although I'm not reading anything at the moment. I like cooking, actually. Cooking is just fun to me. It's a stress reliever and it's just enjoyable. Horseback riding, playing SSO sometimes, Minecraft. Catch me next month and I will tell you completely different hobbies, okay? I am a hobby collector. I will have like three or four hobbies at the same time and they kind of rotate. What's your favorite horse breed in SSO? Ugh, I hate this question. Nothing personal, I just, I don't know. Ask me what my favorite color is. I don't really have one. Ask me what my favorite food is. I don't have one. So I'll tell you a couple of my faves. The Appaloosas, I love them. The Halflingers, I love them. Um, the ETB is a classic. The Arabians, I've been avoiding this race because nobody wants to see me answer questions with this ginger guy on the back of my horse, okay? It looks like an inflatable man. <laughs> but anyways, Brie Kimberly asked, are you going to lease or buy an IRL? I love when people say in IRL because IRL includes the word in, but you're not the only one that does that. I was just saying, no, I'm not going to lease or buy in real life. Just because of like the nature of my life right now, like I feel like I'm, I leave town a lot. I, I, I was thinking about getting a dog, but I can't take the responsibility and a horse is a huge responsibility. And I think it would be unkind if I were to lease or buy a horse. Eventually, I literally want to live on a farm and I don't know if that will ever happen. That's like my ultimate dream and to have horses. Brie Kimberly also asked, how often do you ride IRL? I ride once a week. Pretty exciting stuff. I don't live in a place that's like around a ton of horses, but so I take lessons once a week and it's like one of my favorite parts of the week. Brie Kimberly also asked, what's your posting schedule? Okay, you got me. I don't have one. It used to be every like Tuesday or something, 
then it was like every wednesday and sometimes saturday and now i just post whenever i have a video that i want to post but i usually post once or twice a week but there's some weeks where i won't post at all and i don't put pressure on myself i feel like a lot of youtubers there's like a quantity of videos but the quality goes way down because they're not interested in what they're posting they're just trying to post as much as possible i personally don't want to watch that this is just one of my hobbies okay ives teapot said what's your favorite color oh my gosh i get another one of those okay today Today, my favorite color is probably like a light purple. I'm really into the pastel colors, which some of you have noticed with my thumbnails recently. I really also like burnt orange, especially in the fall. Almost the color of my sweater, but less orange. I like the color of those pants I got on my shopping spree. If you haven't seen that video, go watch it. My 8,000 star coin shopping spree. Oh my gosh, I just ran through that and it didn't feel good. I'm abusing my horse by running into things. I literally told Cece the other day, I said one of my goals is to be nicer to my horses and on my SSO to like not like, I feel like I always go full speed and just like crash into stuff. And I've been attempting to be a better rider in SSO. By the way, if you can't tell, I'm kind of joking, but I'm also, there's a part of me that's serious. Like I, Mitchy Flowerwood said, do you like coffee? Oh my gosh. P.S. Love your vids. Um, no, I don't drink coffee. I have a lot of friends who are addicted to coffee and I personally just don't want to be reliant on anything to make me awake. Like I would rather just get enough sleep. I have a lot, a lot of questions. So thank you guys for all the submissions. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to get through all of them, but I don't think I will have time personally. But Quinlan said, how are you? Actually, I'm doing great. The last couple of weeks, I will, I think there's another question that asked me about like my routine or something. I accidentally saw it. So I'll tell you about my routine later, but um, I'm doing really good. I've made a new routine that I'm happy about and it's making my life better. I'm really happy right now. So thanks for asking. <laughs> Madison Firecloud said, what's your favorite quote and what gets you through the hard times love you lots um thank you for this question this is a good question so i don't know if i have like a favorite quote and i am a christian so if i could think of a good scripture right now that would be my favorite quote yeah like honestly that gets me through the hard times so right now what comes to mind is i have this on my letter board in my house before i like leave for the day and it says today is a good day to be happy and i just like that because it just reminds me sometimes i forget to just like choose to have a good day like you really can just like walk out of the house and be like i'm so happy to be alive like i really like that i listen to a lot of podcasts i forgot to say one of my hobbies is for sure taking a long walk and just listening to like three hour podcasts like i will totally do that okay summer comberly 22 said do you have a horse of your own short answer to that question no and they said do you ride irl yes i ride western irl once a week okay now we're getting into the google forms you guys asked some insightful questions which is really interesting so thank you for making this video entertaining someone asked what is your favorite clothing aesthetic i like to think my clothing aesthetic is somewhere between t-shirt and jeans with like a mix between like boho preppy i don't know that includes a lot of chunky sweaters in the fall and cute jeans and yeah <laughs> i don't know if i have an aesthetic yeah anyways someone asked me how long have you been playing sso and how did you start your youtube channel by the way i love your videos thank you um i don't know how long i've been playing sso to be perfectly honest with you at this very moment there was one time when i looked at how old this account is on sso's website and i had other accounts before that that i can't log on to anymore because i lost the password because i'm an idiot and the email because i'm an idiot so i actually don't know And how I started my YouTube channel was I filmed a video like two years ago during the Winter Village and I wasn't planning on uploading it and I was just like, screw it, I'm uploading this. And then I started my channel. Pretty exciting stuff. Like Nike says, just do it. And that's literally how I started it. Someone said, what inspired you to create your YouTube channel? Also love your vids. I don't know. I've always been someone who watches a lot of YouTube, not even necessarily YouTube necessarily, just like I'm really fascinated by YouTube and like the creativity of people's videos. Like I was very inspired inspired by the way people filmed their videos which i feel like when people are watching a video on youtube they don't think about that stuff it just kind of happens but i was always thinking like oh that transition and i never had like the guts to actually make like a youtube channel personal youtube channel even though i think that would be something really fun but also don't want to be famous if that makes sense i don't want 
people to recognize me. I just want to have my own life. And so a gaming channel was kind of perfect for me because I could talk and do something I enjoy. That's kind of what inspired me, just wanting to like be entertained and also wanting content to edit. Like the editing was really what came to me first. More than even enjoying filming, I enjoyed the editing. But yeah, that's kind of what inspired me. This is more of a request, but can you do a video collab with Pinky? I would love to see it. Oh, sure. Sure. Yeah, let me just call up Pinky um, on my speed dial. And yeah, one sec. Hello. Um, hi, Pinky. Uh, um, my fans want me to make a collab with you if you've got a second. Oh, yeah, for sure, girl. Sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service. I'm assuming by Pinky you're talking about Violet Flower Garden. Um, yeah, that's probably not gonna happen. What is your favorite horse and race? Also, what server are you on? Also, can you send me your friend request? I'm Avery Lowray. Um, that's a lot of questions, holy crap. What's your favorite horse? I already answered that. Ooh, what's my favorite race? Any of like the Silver Glade area races. Maybe let's say Steve's Farm Race right now, just cause I'm enjoying being in that area of the game right now. What server am I on? I'm on Nightstar and sorry, like I can't, I'm not sending friend requests to people who I don't know, but thank you for asking. I really am, I'm flattered. Ooh, see, we're already at level six. This is getting exciting. Do you have any pets? And if you don't, what pets would you want? P.S. Love your vids. Okay, thank you. Thank you for watching my vids. Okay, I don't have any pets right now. I used to have a dog, but he got old and he did pass away. It was sad. I do want pets. I want horses. I really, really, really want an Australian Shepherd. They just have beautiful eyes. They're great dogs. Or a Britney Spaniel. Those dogs are so cute. I used to want a Dalmatian, but I think that might just be too big of a dog for me. But, and I heard that most Dalmatians are deaf. Nothing wrong with being deaf, but for a dog, it would be kind of dangerous, I feel like. Like, they wouldn't be able to hear me calling them. Someone said, do you own a riding club and what inspired you to do YouTube? Oh, a lot of you asked what inspired me to do YouTube. I could not be more stuck right now. <laughs> what the frick is happening right now? That was so annoying. Holy crap. Um, I don't own a club. I'm actually in a club though. It's called Meadow Strawberries. If you follow me on Instagram, we just had our one year anniversary of the club. It's kind of inactive right now, but I'm staying in the club because I like the people in it. Um, someone said, what server are you on? Nightstar. How old are you? Oh yeah, yeah. Let me just give you my credit card number while I'm at it as well. I'm kidding. I'm I'm not giving away my personal information on the internet. What does your day routine look like? Let me tell you. For the last two weeks, I've been doing this routine and it's been working really well for me and just like my happiness in life. And there have been nights where I've been getting four and five hours of sleep for like the entire year last year and I was always tired and always in a bad mood and it wasn't working for me. So I started going to bed at 10. So 10 p.m. I go to bed and you know, that really turns into like 11, but I tell myself 10 because it works for my brain, okay? So I wake up at six and then I brush my teeth all the all that good stuff and then i go on a walk outside oh wait no before i do that i do a 10 minute meditation on headspace and actually i recommend it's really nice i wake up stressed sometimes and it like clears my mind and it's been really good for me like i'm feeling really deep and insightful you're welcome um yeah so i meditate for 10 minutes and then i go on a walk usually i leave at like 6 40 or whenever it's not completely dark outside because it's starting to be winter my least favorite season but whatever so then i go on a walk and then i hurry and shower and my face and like get ready and whatever crap you have to do eat eat breakfast whatever um and then everything's boring until about 4 p.m honestly like work school whatever okay then when i get home i watch youtube for about five hours and then i go to bed i'm kidding actually like not really though i will like do some cooking this is my like hobby time sometimes i'll go for another walk sometimes i'll do a workout um i'll make myself a delicious feast for dinner yeah maybe i'll draw on my ipad or play a game with a friend on discord or something it's not that exciting honestly but Someone said, do you have an inspiration? If so, who? Also, how did you find out about SSO? I found out about SSO when I was looking for a new horse game because I like used to play a lot of horse games as a kid. And I was like, I wonder if there's any like good horse games. And so I like looked up horse games and literally SSO came up. And then from there, it was just, you know, a good relationship from there. Do I have an inspiration? Honestly, no. Like obviously I'm inspired by like people in my life. And there's a lot of people that I find inspiring, but at the end of the day, I feel like you gotta like be your own person and like live your own story and sometimes it's easy to like be caught up in like I want to be just like this person but like at some point you've got to just own your story and like be you and the best you that there is. 
Which of your horses is your favorite? Please say my name, Emily. LOL. Um, okay. Emily. <laughs> uh, changes day to day based on which one I'm riding. I feel like my favorite horse is usually the one I'm riding. So right now my favorite horse is Skipper. Yesterday my favorite horse was Boba. It, it just changes day to day. Usually I say my um, gray and white American paint horse. Usually I say that one just because it's so beautiful. It's a work of art. It's like Mona Lisa. What is your biggest YouTube goal right now? I mean, my goal at the beginning was to get 100 and then it was 1,000. And now I'm like, my goal is just to keep making videos that I enjoy and I don't really have a lot of other goals. Someone said pickle. Sweet. What was the first ever horse you bought? I have another question. What was the first ever club you were in or owned? Love your vids. I talked about it in my video where I bought old buying old horses. I think it was either the AQH. I think it was the AQH, the paint. AQH is the first horse I bought. That or the black ETB. Yeah, one of those was the first horse I ever bought. Really exciting stuff, guys. First club I ever owned or was in, have no idea because when I was younger in this game, I joined random clubs and I would leave. Like I was I had bad club etiquette and I have no idea what the crap I did. I was in I was a psycho. Like I would just jump clubs and like make a club one day and yeah, like I don't do that anymore, obviously. Do I regret it? Yeah. Okay, this person said, How have you been? I've been really good. Thank you for asking. How are you? How are you doing? Someone asked this question and I am I'm scared. They said, at what age did you learn to ride a bike? When I said Q&A, like ask me anything, I really didn't think that you guys would ask me this, but honestly, not mad you did. Uh, I remember specifically like my dad teaching me how to ride a bike and I think I was like five and I have like this specific memory of like riding on this bike path with my dad. It was like fall time and it was kind of crisp outside and it was like after school one day, like after like kindergarten or something and my dad was walking with me on the bike path and he, you know, how like parents like stabilize you. They're like holding on and then they like, or like, oh, I let go and you didn't even notice and like you're riding by yourself, you know, like you have that moment where that happens. Well, my dad tried that and it didn't really go super well. Like I kind of actually fell over into a ditch and in my child memory, it was a large ditch like i fell off the side of a cliff basically in my bike and was traumatized someone said what phone do you have i think i have an iphone 10 and it's like the purple one the light purple one someone said advice for starting a youtube channel i'm honored that you asked me make a youtube channel about something that you are passionate about that's fun that has lots of opportunity for different videos that has some versatility i think that a game has that but a game like sso has that with weekly updates that's my first tip or like your life something that has room to grow i think people are getting tired of like the fake people on youtube like that aren't just trying to be cool and like aren't really themselves and are all the same um don't be like that because I definitely went through a phase there at the beginning when I started my channel where I was like, I have to have this certain personality and to talk a certain way. And that's just not true. People are just looking for someone who's them and just be yourself. But I think that people are not dumb. They can tell when you're faking it and not being you. And if you're not having fun, then this is not the platform for you because it should be fun. Don't make it feel like a chore. If you're scheduling yourself saying, I have to do this at this time, I'm doing my channel for funds and people want to do it as a business, which is fine too. How do you manage your life in Star Stable? I don't feel like it's an issue even. It's my hobby. I never let it conflict with my real life. If anything in real life is happening, I'm not going to be like, oh, sorry, no, I can't. I have to film. Like, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I film when I want, and I film what I want, and that's how I manage real life in Star Stable. I don't play Star Stable that much. There are times where I play more than others, but I really, like, real life comes first. I think it's important, like, the games are fun and stuff, but if you're living more in a game than in real life, like, I mean, there are times in our lives where we're trying to escape, and I think it's fine for a time, but real life should always come first, because in real life, these are just, in reality, these are just pixels, like, it doesn't mean anything. Would you tell anyone IRL about your channel? Heck no, I would never tell anyone. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. It makes me uncomfortable. Yeah, that would literally be so awkward. I would cry myself to sleep and pee my pants, okay? What are your interests other than Star Stable or horses? My hobbies, I like watching YouTube, I like listening to podcasts, drawing, anything artistic, being outside, going for walks, exercise, eating, cooking. Eating healthy is one of my hobbies. What was your favorite past club that you've been in, not including your current club? I'm gonna have to say witch ladies. I'm still friends with a lot of those people, like every time someone logs on from witch ladies. If you guys look back at my videos on the in the times I was in witch ladies, most of my SSO friends are from witch ladies and we were in other clubs together after that. CC's from witch ladies. I had other friends that were in videos like Sweet and Angel. They were 
both in my in a youtube video i think it was like my oh my champ challenge video like that was when i was in witch ladies all those people in the call at that one race i like still watch that video sometimes because i loved that club it was so fun do you think sso is dying no but i think we're dying i think that people who started playing sso really young have changed and if they're still playing this game and are mad that it's changing too it's kind of ironic everything changes it has to if sso hadn't changed or made any changes no one would still play it i know that people say yes i would they wouldn't you can hate me if i say that but i think people are growing out of the game and new people are growing into it that's the circle of life like i'm an older sso player and i still like it but i'm not gonna like it forever we're meant to move on and that's uncomfortable you know it's an uncomfortable feeling moving on and like growing out of something you used to really love and i think sometimes people take that out on sso but they're not doing anything bad favorite type of weather my favorite type of weather is in the fall when it's just fall when all the leaves are changed colors and there's just like that crisp air in the morning oh gosh i love it when the sky is like kind of blue but kind of hazy you have a fictional crush do you have a crush on someone in sso i'm sorry <laughs> Do I have a crush on someone on SSO? I hope you're not talking about an NPC player. No, I don't have a crush on anyone in SSO. What's your favorite dream IRL horse? And what is your favorite TV show or movie? My dream IRL horse? I don't know. A horse that has four legs and as far as like coat colors, when it comes down to it, I don't really care. You'd have to meet the horse. What's your favorite TV show or movie? Okay, it changes all the time. I have a wide variety of interests, okay? And I don't think a lot of people are gonna like the TV show they recommend. Okay, this is stupid. I'm gonna share some cringe TV shows that I watch all the time. Okay, you ready? I watch Smallville. <laughs> Smallville is a good TV show. If you haven't seen it, it's on Hulu and I watched that in my childhood and it's freaking good. It has 10 seasons. I rewatch that every year, I swear. I also watch this crime TV show called The Mentalist and you have to buy it on Amazon Prime. Like it's not free to watch anywhere. I'm obsessed with that. I watch it every year. Heartland I watched, but I never finished, but it's a good show. Heart of Dixie I liked. I like the small town vibes. Gilmore Girls, oh my gosh, Gilmore Girls is such a cute show. Teen Wolf, which was like, it like was like disturbing, <laughs> but I liked it because it was really funny. It had Dylan O'Brien in it, who I think is hilarious. I also watched like a Sherlock Holmes show called Elementary and it was really good. I'm watching the Kardashians on Hulu right now. Don't judge me. I'm just fascinated by them. They're fascinating people. Movies. I always love the Star Wars movies, Harry Potter. I've mostly been watching YouTube lately though. I haven't been watching a lot of movies. Someone said, how old are you? What's your real name? Hope you do it since it's you're almost at 2K. I get it if you don't want to though, because it's private info. Okay, my real name is and I am years old. Which magical horse that you own is your favorite? I think my Fonzie. I was really fast to say that. I don't know why. Or like my quarter horse skeleton is cool. Okay, that's all the questions I'm gonna be answering right now. I'm gonna go eat a fat lunch or something. Anyways, thank you guys for all your questions. Look out for the next submissions for the next training time if you weren't in this one. Thanks for watching. Bye. I'm on the nice, you never guess. I've been hiding a monster, keeping it quiet. I don't want birds.